Welcome back! Hey everyone. So we had to do a little quick leveling up and we got ourselves a new member for Sora. Look at him. His name is Venom. Venom. So um, he's a little toxic salamander of love. <laughs> Was that a Fern Gully reference? No, but I, I didn't intend it to be. But I guess it kind of did. Because I remember that thing's lo toxic love or something like that. I can't remember yeah. what uh, Hexus, that's his song, his toxic love. Yeah, yeah, I remember that now. But no, that was not the intention. Portrayed by Tim Curry. Mr. Tim Curry. Mm hmm. Alright, so, um, trekking along through the grid because we played a lot more in the grid as Riku so far, and I think the game is letting us play a lot of Sora because my original intention was each episode. We were going to stay as long as uh, Sora was around until he fell back to sleep, and then the next episode would be about Riku, but this is kind of a two-parter episode about Sora, so kind of didn't go as planned as I was hoping it to be. <laughs> what, when best laid plans of mice and men. Mm -hmm. In other words, we're just... Aww. Numb. Did you see Venom there? Yeah. He, he's, he's just swimming around on the floor. Yeah. Just, uh, just like his uh, nightmare counterpart. <laughs> I like him. I like him. I want to keep him for a while. I want to see how what him and Sora do as their ability link together. Uh, it should be interesting. Mm -hmm. And now since uh, we have two partners, we have a joint uh, link. Oh, let me tell you, those are fun with Sora, so I think you're going to like it. Alright, let's see how screwed up this one is. Mm -hmm. oh, man. Why are you excited? Sora's always just a little kid. My goodness. You idiot! I, uh, don't have any handles. Yeah, I'm not a bicycle. The name's Sora. <sighs> I mean, seriously, without Donald and Goofy, is, is he just, like, totally freaking lost? Yeah, pretty much. Hey. Oh, look! These big men with weapons and scary looking might actually be bad guys. Wow, he's just like, this is so unfriendly. Well, I mean... This is one thing I never find... Oh, escape the guards. Yeah, this is one thing I never fully understood. It's like... Sora should know that he's taking the Mark of Mastery exam, but he treats like this is... Everything's going on. That, that all this is going on in his current world when, like... This is all separate. Like, why does has he not learned that? That's kind of one thing I kind of don't really forgive Sora for. Just to be, just to uh, be clear. Ignorance. Yes. Nice. That's pretty cool right there. That's a spark. Yeah. Ooh. New spell. That's pretty cool. How'd you get that? Uh, I believe I uh. Oh. Burned it? I don't, I, don't, I don't believe I found it in a chest. That or uh, Toxic gave it to me. Toxum. Venom. 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 That sounds like a Pokemon. It really should be, doesn't it? Yep. Good job, Venom. Infinity up. And run over. And. Oh, wait, there's a chest for Alright, you're gonna hack it first. You got, you yeah, got if, if not, it'll just keep hitting me. Yeah. So back to our little hacking business as before. Yep, and now you are a transport vehicle and you will not shoot me when I try to get this chest. <laughs> Very nice, good sir. You will learn your place. Oh crap, there's more. Oh goodness. Oh god. Those guys are just relentless. So that was Spark. Kill. Or uh, don't. That's cool. Dick. Uh. I'm talking to you, Sora. Okay, at least we're starting right here again. Alright, round two. Really gotta be careful around these guys. They're just... They they hit their combos and it's just over. Oh, you got, you got your... You had a link thing with him. Well, I, I continue to have it. It's just uh, he'll start doing something. No, what I'm saying was um, you have flow motion with him. I'll show you. Like, you can just press triangle and circle whenever you see it, if it happens. I don't think it's gonna happen with this guy, though. Yeah, because you said uh, it was with Riku as well, but... Yep. Uh, 
I think I'm not able to see the window just yet. It's when it's when the target has like a pink thing around it. Who's doing the top, the stop move? I think that's uh, Venum. Venum. Ooh, I like that. Stop is one of my favorite skills to use. Because like stop was got really cool in Kingdom Hearts. Okay. Ooh, he's asleep now. Take that time to heal it up. Kick his ass. Ah, bastards. Yep. You may want to heal yourself again real quick. Good job. Good job. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little more aware this time. Good. Just because of um, just how quickly it went south. <laughs> Code break. Hey, I know that anime. I would hope so. <laughs> yeah, I know, you and I watched it I, together. I would really hope you know it. <laughs> we watched it together, and we kind of made an abridged episode about it. Yep, that was some good times is what it was. Okay, here we go again. Yep, our channel, here very we so go much. Again on my own. Our channel, very so much, tried to enter in that... Uh, Team Four Stars uh, a bridge contest, which we, uh, I think we did very well. I think we did too. I was really proud of our of our finished product. I think that our biggest weakness was that we were rushed, and yeah. I think if we had just a, like a, a, an hour or two left of just because I had to go to work on the final day of submitting it, mm -hmm. I feel like if we had just like another day just to really look at everything, I don't think it wouldn't have. I don't think it looked bad by any means, but I think there were a few errors that caused us to be eliminated. But you know what? I'm not going to hold against it because it was all fun. Yeah. Yeah, it really, it really didn't help that both of us kind of lost a week there. Yeah, because like you and I were talking about it, and then like halfway through the month, we were like, hey, dude, you want to try this out? And we were like, yeah, sure. So we had to really well, it wasn't rush. just that. It was that I was sick, you had to go out of town. It was just like three different levels of we lost a week. Yeah, there's because, no way around it. Because me and my fiance went on vacation with friends. Mm. You need to heal yourself now. And um, you were literally co uh, coming to our apartment. We gave you our key so you could come in yeah. and a little bit. Just, just as little, just as much as I could while you were gone. Yeah, so we really had to master our time management <laughs> skills at that time. There you go. Uh, be in circle. Oh, never. There we go. I want to see you hack him. Switch target. Moving. Do, do moving, moving spark. spark. Moving spark. I'd love to if it will highlight the right fucking one. Why aren't you? You just press circle and square. No, it keeps changing. I know it does. Okay. So if if I hit it wrong too many times, it just stops. Are you controlling him? I am. Oh, that, and oh, I self-destruct. Oh, he, yeah, okay, so self-destruct. Okay, that's what I was wondering if that was what it was. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, but uh, if I if I hit the wrong one too many times, it knocks me out of it. So I can't just keep hitting the same one over and over. Gotcha. So I basically just... Mother... I basically just try you to You are keep... really having trouble with this whole jumping the, off ledge. The thing is, thing is that when it gets close, it doesn't matter. I mean, seriously, you can look at my hand. Look at my hand. I'm looking. Wow. It just chooses not to read it, like, <laughs> it, on a continuous basis. So I guess we'll just have to go over to the teleport. Okay. And uh, see where that takes us, because it might help us get up a bit more. I'm just saying, you could have jumped up and then done your little air dash for it, but yes, this works too. I think that's what it wants me to do. Is uh, you go into the flow motion? Yeah. Anywho, still gotta escape from the guards. I see. Yeah, they're they're not going to be giving up anytime soon. And they're continuously being jerks. Ooh, fireball. Well, look more powerful than fireball. Yeah. I don't think I gave these uh, spirits as much credit as I should have before. These guys are really doing an okay job. Mm-hmm. They 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 do their best. Especially, I think it's because mo I use a lot of the more, like, simple, not simple, but, like, the starring ones and stuck with them, when, like, some of these guys are just using amazing spells right now. I like it. 
Mm-hmm. Unless I wonder if they got smarter between going from the 3DS to the PS4. I don't know. That is entirely possible. Because I do, I do not know of anyone who went, Oh, thank God uh, my companions are here with a 3DS game. Mm-hmm. I, I think they put such an emphasis on multiplayer with the DS games that when it actually came time to have one that's pure solo gaming, mm-hmm. they're kind of left scrambling. I mean, even in Pokemon. Oh, yeah. I agree. I mean, like, right now, po- like, okay. like, Pokemon, I, I kind of have just only beat Sun and Moon once, and that was it. I kind of wanted to see if I could play a little bit of competitive in it, but I can't do it. Like all of its, all of the uh, post-game stuff in Pokemon, it, aside from catching legendaries, which is only about as can, you can only do so much before you don't have any more legendaries left. It's all about its online battling and trading and everything like that. Mm-hmm. It's all. It's basically after what you do is post-game. I mean, yes, there's completing the Pokedex, but the, and that will take some time. But yeah, after that, you know. You kind of want to show off that you're a good battler, but I can't do it. Can't do it anymore. There's too much, too much hacking in the in that game, and they don't do anything about it. So I'm tired of fighting it, man. I'm tired of fighting it. It's tired of fighting the man. Game over, man. Well, I mean, if you win, I don't like hacking because it. I know it's gonna ruin. Uh, I know it's going to ruin my game, basically. Yeah. And no matter how safe people can make it, it's like it's not meant to be yeah, in the game. It's still, it's still breaking the game. And there are like I think I told you this. There are numerous people in the incredible. Pokemon competitive community that win these tournaments all the time, and basically ninety percent of them all hack or have friends that hack Pokemon for them. So. It doesn't feel worth to me playing because I could be this guy that puts all this effort, but I know I'm not going to do as well because all these people just have to get the Pokemon hacked. They can spend more time, you know, playing the game and going to all these different tournaments because they're prepared for different strategies. And they can, if they're like, oh, I don't like this team, well scrap it and they can instantly get a new one in minutes yeah and that's that's what i don't like for me because like i will spend weeks making a team and then when i finally get it up and running it usually turns out okay and i like my accomplishments but then if i realize i need to scrap a team it usually takes me hours to you know sort of come up with like new pokemon to replace it but all i'm saying is that like I can put all these days and hours into it, and it's not worth it, because yeah. other people are hacking it, and they're going up on the ladder. They're making money off cheating a game, basically. Yeah. Well, people like to joke, it's like, oh, this move, it breaks the game. Well, that's to an extent true, but it was designed to be there. Mm-hmm. It was meant to be a part of the game as an option. This, you know, hacking it and... You know, in many cases, even modding it, you're breaking it. Uh-huh. You're you're doing something to its base foundations that was not supposed to be there. And I don't mind hacking uh, or modding when it comes to like a Bethesda game, like with Fallout and Skyrim. And in some ways, they make them more fun than the original game because you can get ch- different texture layouts. You can d- get certain different skills. You can kind of make it unique. But yes, in a sense, that is breaking the game. But what I don't like, but the reason why I can forgive that is because there is no online features for Skyrim or Fallout at all. True. When it goes into a versus competitive setting, that's when um, I, I absolutely despise it. But at the same time, if people who are interested in literally looking into it, Pokemon doesn't do anything about it because they know all of their famous competitors, all the people who do this, since they all cheat, if they actually did bother doing something to enforce it, they would lose all their com- competition, basically. Yeah. And where would they be from now? Well, one, they would be at a more fair system again, but they're not going to do that. 
Well, it's also like uh, you just downloaded uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh. Duel Links mm -hmm. for your phone. Love it. And uh, there's a real problem with app games where they're not pay to play or even um, download to play. They're pay to win. Mm -hmm. And that and that is breaking a game, even though they they want you to do that. Mm -hmm. So it it really just depends on what you want out of it. I want a solid game with solid gameplay that you know should have been the idea from the get go. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have to you know go into what you created and change it to make it something that's enjoyable. Yeah, that's true. But if you tell me, like, oh, I have Skyrim, uh, and there's a mod that um, makes the dragons look even better. Yeah, which there is. <laughs> okay. I can get behind that. You know, I'm not, I'm not going, you have broken it. Mm-hmm. Because I don't think it's not, that's something a game developer is going to go, what the hell's wrong with you? In some ways, I think, I feel like Bethesda just, you know, makes the game as this, so like Mars will make the game better. In which, honestly, I kind of wish Bethesda would... I mean, I'm going to be honest, like... I've played Fallout 3, I've played Skyrim, I've played uh, Fallout 4, and to be honest, like... Like, graphic-wise, Fallout 4 definitely has stepped up, but at the same time... There are some moments where it feels the same, and I think it's just because they don't have like I'm. This is just pure speculation, but sometimes it feels like they don't have to try as hard because there are modders that'll definitely make the game their own way, basically. There's definitely that feeling when it comes to you certain games. You are about games, to die. When it comes to certain games. Here you go. And um, th except they take that attitude towards um. Patches and mm -hmm. DLC. Another thing I don't like. <laughs> yeah. Where it's oh, it's okay. We if if this is a little short, you know, our players will let us know, and then we can patch it later. That shouldn't be the goal. You know, no one. You know, they didn't say oh, we'll release uh, Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. Oh, if it doesn't work out, you know, our fans will let us know, and we'll make it better in the next game. Yeah. Because they realized that wasn't an option. You know, being given the option and then being taken adva then taking advantage of the option, two separate things. Yes, I agree. So, not a fan of how one automatically affects the other. Like, you know, I'm, I, I do not program games for a living. I do not know how difficult of a process that can be. I do know how difficult programming in general can be. Um, but the idea of breaking a game should never be an option. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I'm not going to tell them how to do their job, but I just do not foresee that ever being a viable way of running things. I agree. I remember the good old days of when you bought a game for like say sixty dollars you had a full game not here's sixty dollars for a game here's twenty dollars for a first dlc here's an extra twenty dollars for the second dlc here's another twenty dollars for the third dlc yeah and here's like five dollars for concept art when video games used to reward you with concept art whenever you um, actually beat the game or um, did some sort of completing facts to it you know what i'm saying or even um the DLC in and of itself. Yep. It's the, uh, that was the bonus if you got 100% completion, uh, and stuff like that. Mm hmm. Y that was your reward, is you had all these bonus missions or concept art or behind the scenes footage or what have you. You know, it wasn't, you know, a. It wasn't something you felt you paid for with money, it was paid for with effort. Now, one time I liked DLC was the Borderlands series. I thought they did a great job with DLC um, for the first and second one. Because for the first game, they it kind of got rushed out a little bit because they... I, think, I felt like the, what the finished product of Borderlands 1 was okay. 
and even though I know they wanted to do more, um, but it got so popular, and you know, and, and then at one point, after enjoying playing through Borderlands 1, like you know, about a mo few months later, it's like, hey, here's some DLC for our fans, okay, yeah. that I can get behind. There was extra story, new adventures, and that was fun, and... I like it when it's in that purpose, but sometimes when you look at games now, it just feels like, okay, here's this game, by the way, here's DLC, here's like purposeful DLC. I like to think that DLC could be like an accent where like, hey, people really like this game, let's give them more for it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it shouldn't, uh, I, I, um, the, the idealist in me is like, okay, I shouldn't have to pay to be a fan. Mm -hmm. And I love... Me and my fiance are playing Tales of Basaria now, and that's a really fun game because I like the Tales series. And um, I, the one thing I don't like about it is the D their form of DLC is costume designs for the, your favorite characters, and it literally costs like anywhere from like eight dollars to like fourteen dollars to buy a new set of costumes for your characters. That is, that's it, just costumes, nothing else. That is the biggest waste of money, in my opinion, because I would think that the game would want to reward you. Like, you can unlock costumes in the game, but not the DLC costumes, and those look spectacularly better than the ones I've unlocked in the game so far. And I would think that the game would want to reward you by giving you like some of those costumes for completing challenges or, you know... You know, unlocking things. I would not think they would pay you like fifteen dollars just to change the way your character looks. I really don't okay. like that. Um, that was my big problem with uh, Battlefront, uh, Star Wars Battlefront. Exactly. I don't play it anymore because of that. I didn't like how I was supposed to pay all this money to get the game. Then pay all this extra money um, for stuff that really doesn't appeal to me, mm -hmm. and then um, only to find out that the game itself that I bought is only kind of like a third of a game. Yeah, you know that that always hurts. And then like, it, and the time I had it, it took forever for any extra content to come out, and I and I haven't gone back to it since. I don't want to. But, um, anyways, we had a fun little rant there, so we're going through the switch between Sora and Riku, so I think we'll definitely call this an episode here. Alright. Until next time, everybody. Later.